Einstein didn't believe it was possible. Stephen Hawking said it might be the greatest scientific discovery of all time. What discovery has baffled the greatest scientific minds of the past century? And why has it caused them to rethink the origin of our universe? New, more powerful telescopes have revealed mysteries about our universe that have raised new questions about the origin of life. Has science discovered God? But wait a minute. Hasn't science proven we don't need God to explain the universe? Lightning, earthquakes, and even babies used to be explained as acts of God. But now we know better. What is it about this discovery that is so fundamentally different? And why has it stunned the scientific world? This discovery has many scientists now admitting that the universe appears to be part of a grand design. One cosmologist put it this way, many scientists, when they admit their views, incline toward the teleological or design argument. Surprisingly, many scientists who are talking about God have no religious belief whatsoever. So what is this stunning discovery that has scientists suddenly speaking of God? The discovery that even Einstein had trouble accepting is that the universe, including time, matter, energy, and space, had a one-time beginning. The statements leading scientists have made about that revolutionary discovery may shock you. Let's take a look. Since the dawn of civilization, man has gazed in awe at the stars, wondering what they are and how they got there. Although on a clear night, the unaided human eye can see about 6,000 stars. Hubble and other powerful telescopes indicate there are trillions of them clustered in over 100 billion galaxies. Our sun is like one grain of sand amidst the world's beaches. However, prior to the 20th century, the majority of scientists believed our own Milky Way galaxy was the entire universe, and that only about 100 million stars existed. Most scientists believed that our universe never had a beginning. They believed mass, space, and energy had always existed. But in 1927, Belgian priest Georges Lemaitre proved mathematically that everything in the universe, including matter, energy, space, and even time itself, had a one-time beginning. Two years later, in 1929, astronomer Edwin Hubble verified Lemaitre's calculations with experiments at the Mount Wilson Observatory. Shockwaves rang loudly throughout the scientific community. Many scientists, including Einstein, reacted negatively. In what Einstein later called the biggest blunder of my life, he fudged the equations to avoid the implication of a beginning. Perhaps the most vocal adversary of a beginning to the universe was British astronomer Sir Fred Hoyle, who sarcastically nicknamed the creation event a Big Bang. He stubbornly held to his steady state theory that the universe has always existed. So did Einstein and other scientists until the evidence for a beginning became overwhelming. The elephant in the room implication of a beginning is that something or someone beyond scientific investigation must have started it all. Finally, in 1992, Kobe's satellite experiments proved that the universe really did have a one-time beginning in an incredible flash of light and energy. Although some scientists called it the moment of creation, most preferred referring to it as the Big Bang. 
Astronomer Robert Jastrow tries to help us imagine how it all began. The picture suggests the explosion of a cosmic hydrogen bomb. The instant in which the cosmic bomb exploded marked the birth of the universe. Science is unable to tell us what or who caused the universe to begin. But some believe it clearly points to a creator. British theorist Edward Milne wrote a mathematical treatise on relativity which concluded by saying, as to the first cause of the universe, in the context of expansion, that is left for the reader to insert. But our picture is incomplete without him. Another British scientist, Edmund Whitaker, attributed the beginning of our universe to divine will constituting nature from nothingness. Many scientists were struck by the parallel of a one-time creation event from nothing with the biblical creation account in Genesis 1.1. Prior to this discovery, Many scientists regarded the biblical account of creation from nothing as unscientific. Although he called himself an agnostic, Jastro was compelled by the evidence to admit, now we see how the astronomical evidence leads to a biblical view of the origin of the world. Another agnostic, George Smoot, the Nobel Prize winning scientist in charge of the Kobe experiment, also admits to the parallel. There is no doubt that a parallel exists between the Big Bang as an event and the Christian notion of creation from nothing. Scientists who used to scoff at the Bible as a book of fairy tales are now admitting that the biblical concept of creation from nothing has been right all along. We have learned from science that time, energy, space, and matter all had a beginning at the moment of creation. But who was the super intelligence that created everything? And what is he like? Is he a personal being who communicates with us? Or simply a blind force? Click the Learn More button to discover more about the super intelligent creator and what other scientists have said about creation.